Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are going to be adding starvation and dehydration to our survival system that we built out here a while ago. Um, so this shouldn't take too long. And basically what we're gonna do is that when our hunger is at zero, we are going to start decreasing the player's health. And then if our thirst is at zero also, we're gonna start decreasing the player's health as well. So it'll be kind of like accelerated because you're zero and zero, or if just one or the other is at zero, it'll slowly start depreciating the uh, health of the player. So we're going to open up our um, script here for the player, or sorry, the assets and the survival script. And this survival script is attached to a first person character controller. So within Visual Studio, here now you can see that this is our survival script and it, within the update function we have where we are decreasing our hunger as we're playing so we're going to add a snippet of code in here to start decreasing our health if the hunger is zero so if hunger is less than or equal to zero we're going to set the health to equal health minus uh, hunger over time uh, divided by time dot delta time and what this basically means is up here we use this thirst over OT which is thirst over time and this is how much we decrease our thirst uh, every frame update uh, and you can see that we use it here to decrease our thirst and we also use here for hunger for how much we want to decrease our hunger over time and we're just using that to decrease from the health when it is at zero so if i come back in here to the game now and set our player health to zero or sorry not our player health our hunger to zero so right now it's already set at zero and we click play over here you can see that our health is uh, decreasing now, if we updated our hunger to say 10, our health will stop decreasing and our hunger is just going down and you can see our thirst is also going down here. And then if we move this back to zero, our health starts to go down as well. So that's great. So now we have that implemented for our hunger being at zero. So now we're gonna do the exact same thing. I'm just gonna copy this and we're gonna create a new if statement just underneath and this is going to be for thirst and then we are just going to decrease our uh, health by thirst over time dot delta time now the reason why we have two separate if statements here is because we want to run these in conjunction with each other and to keep our code tidy so instead of having an if and else statement we'll just check for this and if this is true then we'll start decreasing this and but also if this is true we're going to decrease this so it stops us having a big nested uh, if statement and it's just cleaner to look at so now what this is basically doing is the exact same what the hunger is doing just for our thirst and if the two of them are set to zero it's going to decrease our health a lot quicker uh, which is kind of how any survival game works and um, so let's go give that a try now so without changing any variables over here, we're just gonna play and we can see our health going down quite slow over here based off our hunger going down slow. So now let's decrease our thirst to zero. And now you can see that our health is going down a lot faster. And if we change our hunger to say be 10, you can see the speed pretty much stays the same as it was for the thirst. For just thirst and then if we change this back to zero we can now see it going a lot quicker which is just decreasing our health and if we brought this down to say 50 percent you can see this is actually moving our um little heart symbol here as well but we can't really see that because the movements are so low but if you looked at it for long enough you'll see it goes from the middle all the way towards the end and that is everything for 
uh, starvation and dehydration. Um, the last thing we're going to do is, if you see here, when our health reaches zero, it continues dropping, or sorry, our hunger reaches zero, it continues going into the minus. So we're just going to put a little blocker there, and at the bottom, we're just going to say if hunger is less than or equal to zero, or actually we can just do it in here. So if hunger is less than or equal to zero, and then just hunger equals zero. So we just don't want it to keep decreasing. And we're just gonna do the same with the thirst then. Thirst equals zero. And this will just stop it from updating just that variable the whole time. It just keeps it cleaner in the hierarchy. Uh, or sorry, for any inspector for us. So now we can just see our hunger is set at zero. We set this to one, it's going to start decreasing. Doesn't do anything to our health because we have our, we have a little bit of hunger still here and we have a lot of thirst. But if we change this to 0 0.1, watch this go away. We will then see our health start to decrease right here. So that is working fine. So that is uh, starvation and dehydration. I hope this helps up, uh, you guys. Uh, if it did, don't forget to rate, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.